Hey, I'm Iman, and welcome to a, another Shamurai Reviews. Now, I've been using uh, this new piece of software for effects, Bias FX2. It's sort of the sequel to Bias FX1 mobile, runs on the iPad, whole set of just pedals and amps and cabinets and everything to choose from. I've been a longtime fan of multi effects since. Um, uh, Zoom came up with their first model a long time ago, and this got me excited because updates can happen, more things can go on. This goes on and on and on as a piece of software versus buying a stop box, which is more rigid. Maybe you get some firmware updates, but no real new features. Doesn't work with MIDI just yet, and some other features are missing. But when they released an update uh, in just a couple, like last week, it came with a new pedal, or several new pedals. One was the mouse pedal. Now, I am actually a super big fan of Procro Rat, which is one of my go-tos all the time. But this little mouse pedal, and I was curious. How are these gonna do head-to-head? -head? What do they sound like? How do they compare? Now, it's not a fair comparison for reasons that you might not think, because the mouse pedal is actually, uh, if you notice, there's a tone knob in the middle, distortion and level on the sides. This uh, vintage rat, which is a uh, remake of the 82 rat, has a filter. The first rat had a tone, meaning you turn it higher, more highs. Turn it lower, less highs. So it has a filter. So the higher you turn the knob, the more clockwise, the more high end gets cut. So it's not gonna be a total fair comparison because this is the pedal that came out two years after the first version of the rat, which is this mouse, I assume, because of the labels. But for the point of comparison, we'll leave the filter knob in the middle for the most part, because then it's be kind of fairly just kind of balanced in the set. Because if you look at Proco's website, it actually says it's really just the knob was inverted. So maybe there's some circuitry differences, but we're going to do a side-by-side -side test. Now to do this test, uh, we're going to be running it through these uh, wireless transmitters that you just saw from a uh, 91 Fender Strat Ultra. It's got an unconventional pickup configuration. And so what we're going to be doing is, I'm just gonna be running through just the core bridge pickup. This is, these are two single coils side by side. So I'm gonna be just running just through that one, which will give you the closest to a standard Strat sound that this 91 Ultra can, can make. And I'm gonna be playing the same riff over and over again poorly. So that's for you to judge. Which one was the Proco and which one was the mouse? Now, it's difficult. This one was B. The positive grid bias effects too was A. They sounded very close on the monitors to me, actually. Uh, when Joseph had a pair of Shure uh, 535s that I was listening through, it sounded very close. On the recordings, when I played them back, they sound different. The responsiveness and the feel of the distortion was, was pretty close, but the rat sounded a little more crunchy 
little more highs. And I'm wondering if that's actually a function of the filter versus tone or how the pod is modeled on this device. I'm going to try to voice the mouse pedal to match a bit more crunchy. We left the, the knob in the middle on the tone and the filter for all three of the tests. I'm gonna just do a run real quick with just the mouse pedal, trying to make it a bit crunchier by turning up that tone knob probably a bit. And we're gonna hear what that sounds like. sounded different pretty close I mean knob for knob it doesn't line up the same so if your buddy tells you you know dude man set set your volume and filter to six uh, it's not gonna exactly work out I think the, the voicing of the knobs are just slightly different on this pedal and I don't know again if this because this is the uh, vintage rat with the filter and this is the actual the original modeling the original with the tone knob not really sure but this is actually really good. I was able on that second take to get really close sound to this. And you know, again, after you run it through an amp and a cabinet and some other effects, it's gonna just merge even closer. This is just pure signal. So I'm actually really excited. I hope the folks at Positive Grid release more updates and more pedals because that's uh, super awesome. And um, you know, let's do it this. I mean, it'd be sad to put it on reverb, but uh, had it for decades. Maybe I'll just put it on the shelf. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.